Hi, this is Keith from Lands of Grooves. And today we're going to be taking a look at the CZ75 Compact PO1 Omega. Quite the mouthful. So here's what we're looking at. Here is uh, the CZ75 PO1 Compact Omega. Um, we're going to do a decently uh, in-depth review of this. Uh, I've had one CZ before, and to be honest with you, uh, the CZ2075, I think it was the Rami, a few years ago. I really liked its design. I liked its look. When I got to the range, I was a little disappointed uh, Disappointed in the reset. I love uh, alloy-framed or steel-framed guns. I was a little disappointed in the trigger reset. And uh, to be honest with you, it uh, had a little trouble cycling um, certain brass ammo, and steel was never shot through it. So even after break-in period, uh, I was a little disappointed because I really, uh, really wanted to like that gun a lot. It was the perfect size. To me, it felt like a Glock 26, just all uh, you know, metal framed, uh, steel slide, alloy frame, just really nice ergonomically. But if it's not reliable, then there's no sense in having it. So let's move on. I give it some time. I give it some time, and down the road, here we are. I saw the CZ75 Compact PO1 Omega, and. Uh, Basically, what interested me with this is this is what they call a convertible. It has the capability to switch the uh, decocker lever to a safety only or a decocker only. In this box right here are the other parts to change this over. So right now it's set from the factory setting that this is a, when you close it, it is a decocker. Down it goes, okay? So with CZ having the low bore axis and uh, I know the weight is a little high on them. I think they're 20... 28.1 uh, ounces. Uh, they're a little heavier than your polymer guns, but having said that, when you have a little heavier gun, you do have the capability to absorb the recoil. And I have not fired this weapon as of yet. I just, uh, the OLED came in. I just couldn't see spending, uh, you know, $180 for uh, one of the name brand lights before I even figured out if I like this weapon. So I just ordered an OLED 1300 lumen with the CR123s in it. And uh, it actually is uh, pretty decent. Uh, it's not a rechargeable version, but I think I paid $79 for this. And this weekend they go on sale for like 50, $55. So I kind of missed the window on that, but uh, this one's in charcoal gray. But I've had the good luck on some of the lower end lights with the uh, O-Light and I've yet to have one fail. So moving on to the gun. Um, some of the things I found interesting with this is uh, the slide material, uh, it was hard to find out what exactly it's made of. And um, basically after reading a lot, CZ doesn't stay on their website unless I missed it, but I reviewed pretty much everything there and it is uh, just a carbon steel with a coating on it. I didn't see anything listing stainless, so it must be carbon. And uh, I read some of the forums. And the frame is made of aluminum, which is uh, really well machined. Um, the one thing I could say about the Rami I had when you took the slide off, the um, machining was not the greatest in it. Maybe that was just its run, but it was a little disappointing for the price point of the Rami uh, 2075. So when you're looking at this 75 compact, I gotta say the overall fit and finish on this weapon is phenomenal. I uh, initially intended to order some of the CZ wood grips for it. And once this came in, ergonomically, these rubber grips, these are not plastic grips, they're actually rubber. And the contour of them is phenomenal with the hand. I mean, it is just, it fits like a glove. So um, you don't have to worry about your hand hanging off the bottom of this uh, with some of your other weapons, some of your smaller uh, carry weapons. In all fairness, this is 28 ounces uh, empty. So when you load it up, I mean, you're you're getting into, um, you know, SIG 229 ter territory. But uh, this weapon alone ergonomically feels great. And I wanted to give CZ another chance because uh, a friend of mine is from uh, over that, that side, uh, maybe he's from uh, Albania. He uh, always loved these and said, you got to give another chance. So you got to try them out. So I didn't want to shortchange CZ. Um, I buy pretty much every brand under the sun. So uh, I wanted to give them another chance with this. Uh, basically, CZ75 PO1 compact convertible, chambered at 9 millimeter. Um, this is, uh, after reading some of CZ's literature, it says basically this is the law enforcement gun uh, over in Europe and things like that, uh, military law enforcement gun, and it, it comes with two 15 round mags. They seem well built. They seem like I don't know if CZ builds them a Metgar, but it looks like a Metgar mag to me. Um, so it could be you know proprietary or in house built. So um, 
have having said that, like I said, at the end of the day, this thing seems very well built. And I put this kind of you know, entry level uh, light on it, this PL3 Valkyrie um, from Olight. And uh, right now, I'm, uh, I didn't have any trouble finding a holster, the holster's on order. So I wanted to take this to the range and actually shoot it and see how it does before I go uh, pressing these, um, I guess they're standard white dot sights or the luminescent, whatever they call them, uh, sights before I press them out and put in some excess sights. I want to make sure I like the gun. So what I can say about this uh, double single action, I'm always a fan of double single. Um, what we'll do is we'll try the double first. So the pull is somewhat hefty. I'm going to say it's probably around nine or 10. It'll probably be on the CZ's website. Okay, they'll reset it. Reset is a little farther off the ball than I would like, but it's not too bad. A little bit of take up. A little bit of slop on the break. It wasn't a clean break. Um, we'll see how it does the range. All in all, it feels smooth. There's no grit, no grind in the trigger or anything like that. And it is a metal trigger. It does look like the, um, the mag releases ambi can be flipped over. Like I said, these grips, surprisingly, will be in stock rubber grips. The texture on them is excellent. Uh, the beaver tail is the perfect height. You don't have to worry about any sort of slide bite or anything. And uh, with this low bore axis, I'm looking forward to shooting it. Uh, I'm just going to just oil it and... Uh, I want to run some um, some uh, weapon shield through it, and uh, we're going to see how it does. But other than that, I'll touch a weapon shield at the end of the uh, interview here, end of the uh, review. But like I said, this thing is phenomenal. There's no slop on the slide to the frame meet, meeting up. I mean, it is nice and tight, and it's still stiff. It's going to break in, but um, the mass seal and mags do. Granted, they're not loaded, so they probably won't shoot out of here. That's fine. Problem. No problem. They don't, they don't fly out of it like some guns, but they come out just fine. Um, they don't hang up, which is the important part. So, at the end of the day, the coating on the aluminum lower frame, this is made in the Czech Republic. Um, the coating seems Really nice. It has a little lanyard loop down the bottom. I assume that being the military and law enforcement uh, setup on it. It has the uh, kind of extended rear sight here, probably for charging it off your duty belt. All in all, it feels pretty good for a new gun that hasn't been broken in yet. So what we're going to do is uh, we're going to fire this at the range in the next coming, upcoming weeks, probably before the first of the year. We'll post another video attaching to the SIG, um, I'm sorry, to the uh, CZ75 P01 Omega. And like I said, this is the compact version. Um, I haven't done anything with it yet. I haven't fired it, I haven't even oiled it. It's just uh, been backlogged in the safe here. So. Um, We'll see how it goes at the range, and uh, we'll go from there. And I'll, I hope it sticks around because it really has a great feel to it, and I hope it's reliable. And we'll break it in before we actually make any sort of assessments on it. But um, I have high hopes for it, um, same as I did for the uh, CZ Rami. But uh, again, like I said, I'm giving uh, CZ another shot to redeem himself, um, and we're only going to use, of course, high quality brass ammunition and break it in, and we'll go from there. But uh, I just wanted to kind of do this open boxing in, and, and I just added this on maybe 10 minutes ago, this Olight. So it literally, uh, we'll see what's inside here. You get all the basic stuff. So here's the other parts to do the convertible if you want to make it a decocker. <clears throat> Allen keys for your sights. More Allen keys, it looks like. Maybe the chance put something underneath the block in the front uh, pick rail. Little cleaning rod, a uh, for your um, patches, the standard gun lock, and CZ seventy five manual. 
So we'll, we'll go over this real quick. Uh, this PO1 is the last page on it. But, uh, it shows you how to take it all apart and stuff and uh, how to change it over, convert it over. That's why, hence the convertible. And uh, uh, cover that one side. I think I'm going to leave it as uh, decopper. I don't really care about the safety. I like the decopper. So that's going to wrap it up for the um, CZ Compact 75 PO1 Omega 9x19. It's just a 9mm. I don't think CZ's doing much other than nine millimeter, but uh, well, you know, being a you know a European company, I get it. So let's wrap it up, and uh, I appreciate your quick review of the CZ seventy five and uh, the Omega. We haven't covered anything yet, but like I said, I think this is it's going to fit well into the armory here. Uh, I think it'll be a great addition as long as there's no no hiccups. So thank you for your time, and uh, we'll wrap it up.